Hello everyone, I'm Razor, and today in my world, I'm working on some wheels for our game table. So our game table, one of the issues that we've always had is it's so big and heavy, um, and you don't really want to keep it out in the middle of the room all the time because it takes up a lot of space. It's nice to push it over the side or, or be able to move it around. But when you're using it, it needs to be sitting down on its feet. So what I did, um, or I'm working on, I'm going to put wheels under it that you can actually pick it up on the wheels, push it around to where you want it, and then set it back down on the, on the feet. So here's the game table. And right now, you can see I'm actually using it as a, as a tool table. Um, but this is one of them that actually what you do is it'll, it'll flip over. Um, so you'll have uh, air hockey on one side and then a pool table on the other, and then it has a ping pong set up also and, and some other games that you can play. So down here's the feet. That's two adjustable feet. And right now I have it set up on half inch spacers because that's that's roughly what I want the wheels to pick it up off the floor. Um, that's the height I want to pick it up to. And then I made some brackets here. I have them already painted. These are the end brackets. And then this is the wheel assembly. So I got caster wheels. And as you can see here, I actually mounted the, the wheels off to the side. So when it's tilted down like this, the wheels are actually being picked up. And when it's up more like this, then they're, then they're pushed down when, when the uh, casters are, are level. So this fits in between here. This is going to go in between here like this, and then the um, the end blocks that I made are what's going to hold it in place. So I'm going to pause the video here for just a minute and get my camera mounted, and then uh, I'm going to show you how this I'm going to show you how this gets put together. Okay, so here we go. Get these blocks mounted on the ends. Now, I actually already had these on um, to make sure everything was going to fit properly. So I've already drilled pilot holes. Get that in, spin in. Come over to this side. Okay, so they're on. 
And now you can kind of see when you pull back, the wheels come up off the floor. And when you would push forward, it's going to pick the table up. So now I had, I made a bracket here. That's actually going to hold the handle when you, um, when you have it up in the air, this will hold it up for you. So you don't have to keep holding on to the handle. Now this, I didn't have pilot holes for yet. So it's going to take me a minute to get some, get some holes drilled. So here I'm finding the center of the handle. It's a little less than three and five eighths. side here a little less than three and five eighths I'm gonna use a square Get a square mark so I can get my hinge mounted properly. And then you see here, this has a hole drilled in it, um, which is actually going to drop down on the top of the pipe handle. This is all made out of three quarter inch black steel pipe.
All right, so now what'll happen when you push this forward, that drops in. Now we're up off of our boards. That one was a little bit tighter. But now it's picked up on the wheels. So now I have to do this same thing on the other side. Um, but when I do, then we'll be able to push this table around. And then to let it sit back down, you just push forward on this handle and release the catch. And now it's sitting back down on the feet. So this should make this a lot more flexible. I may actually do something different here on the, um, on the stop here to hold this a little better. I gotta figure something out there, or maybe I just let it the way it is. Um, and that's it. I have to go over and do the other side. Okay, so now the way this works, you come over on either end, push in on your handle, lock the handle. And now the table's up on the wheels, and you push it around, reposition it, push your table around. Get it where you want it, and you just go back. Both ends, you release the handle, and it's sitting back on its feet, ready to go. Well, at least after I get all my tools taken off of it. So that's it for that project.